Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I was reading some of that wrestling news, and there was an article about John Cena. And John Cena was talking about them heel turns there. Usually, when people talk to Cena about heel turns, he goes into full-out fucking nerd mode, you know. I love it, you. I will never turn here. Um, they've done multiple storylines with Kane. I think Bray Wyatt, if I remember correctly. And they were trying to make Cena turn heel. Oh, you got some evil inside you, John. Let it out. There, that was with Kane, I think. Let out the evil, John. <laughs> and then Cena was being a big dork about it. I'm a never turn here. I love the children. I do it for him. I do it for that child. I'm a good man. But um, he was doing a Q&A today or last night. Not too sure there. Some type of Q&A on Twitter. And they asked him about a heel turn, and he said, Never say never. Um, in wrestling, when they say never say never, that's usually a big yes, a big chance, I mean, that it's a yes, you know what I mean? It's not a definite yes, but big chance, dog, that John Cena is going to turn heel eventually not sure when but when he does turn heel i'm pretty sure it's gonna be good you know what i'm saying especially if they have that big baboon big boring baboon prick roman reigns as the new face or whatever there if they want to put him as the face it would be a good idea to put Cena as the top heel. That way you have a guy at the top that can actually sell merchandise, shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having some phony baloney jobber with no talent, pretending to be the face there, you can have Reigns as the main face or whatever, main good guy. And have Cena as the real face, but as a, a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? And I think that would work, dog. It would be good. You know what I'm saying? But they would have to make it serious. Not cartoonish bullshit like Seamus. Stuff like this. Have Cena turn heel for real. You know what I mean? Make him... Just fucking bash the fans, saying stuff about how he makes lots of money. How he made lots of money with the children. Oh, you don't like me, but your kids, your kids like me and I get money off of your children. Your girlfriend go to bed at night and she dream about Big John Cena. Shit like this, get the fucking fans going crazy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's lots of fans, you know, that hate Cena. These John Cena hater tough guys. I'll never like Cena, even if he turns heel. And that's perfect. That way he would get legit heat from the adult fans. He would get heat from the kids and the mothers, blah, blah, blah. He would get a shit ton of heat and it would make for entertaining television. If he would cut promos about how he's better than Steve Austin, <laughs> better than The Rock, he can talk about how he beat The Rock, shit like this, how he's better than Hogan. Imagine the hate, and if he ties the Ric Flair record, this would be the perfect time to do it. When he ties the Ric Flair record at 16 belts, and then when he beats the record at 17 belts, imagine the fucking hate that Cena would get. It would be a perfect time to turn him heel. He could 
do some kind of celebration <laughs> with the, the, the 16 world titles, have Ric Flair in the ring there doing his thing where he kisses Cena's ass, shakes fucking Cena's hand there, oh congrats John, woo! And then Cena would punch him right in the face, punch Flair right in the face, grab him in the STF, imagine the fucking hate from the fans. Cena beating Flair's record and then kicking Ric Flair's ass, how fucking good would that be? That shit would be fucking awesome. It would be straight up awesome. When the fans would chant CM Punk or something, Cena could say that he sold more merch than CM Punk could ever dream of. Shit like this, he could say CM Punk was never good enough to take my spot. Daniel Bryan wasn't good enough to take my spot. Imagine the fucking hatred. This shit needs to fucking happen. It is wrestling, for God's sakes. It is fucking wrestling. It would be bad for business if Cena would not turn heel. I mean, really. Um, hopefully it happens. I have big faith that it will fucking happen. Never say never, dogs. Never say never. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a big yes there and that one day Cena will turn heel. But for now, time will tell, dog. 16-time world champion. 17-time kicking Ric Flair's ass. Imagine the hate. The motherfucking hate. French kissing Charlotte after punching out Flair. <laughs> that shit would fucking rock. It would rule. It would be extreme. Make it happen, McMahon. Make it fucking happen. Until next time. Peace. You can't see me, though. You can't see me.